from the House of Assembly this week. Open Assembly Challenges Works Ministry to Rehabilitate More Rogues. Land Grabbing Allegation. Ogun Assembly Invites Oweye Others. Ogun Assembly Assures Asus on Speedy Passage of Law and Trenching Appointment of Principals General. Sit back and enjoy the rest of the program as we bring this and many more to your viewing pleasure. In their presentations, Honorables Sheung Adesonya and Folawe Wo Salami, during plenary presided over by the Speaker, Right Honorable Luda Etielemide, called for palliative measures on Idomila, Idomowo, Barak Stadium Road in Ijebu Northeast local government area, and the need for rehabilitation of Taju Belo Hercules Giwa Road in Ifo 2 state constituency, which had caused flooding that affected some houses in the area. The speaker, in his reaction, encouraged the State Commissioner for Works and Infrastructure, Engineer Ade Akisonya, to intensify efforts on road construction and rehabilitation across the state. He, however, acknowledged the state government's stride in road construction and rehabilitation, saying that more needed to be done in all parts of the state. I am seizing this opportunity to inform the Commissioner for Works to please be up and doing. Let us know what is going on. Let us know what is happening. We know they cannot do everything at the same time, but let us see them do something so that we can tell our people that even if they have not got into your area, you can see them in your area so-so, area so-so. Please, the Commissioner for Works, please be up and doing. Thank you. Also at the plenary, a bill titled The Principal General Creation of Office Law 2024, still first reading on the floor of the Assembly, as the Clerk of the Assembly, Mr. Shakiru Adebakin, read the bill for the first time before the state lawmakers. Meanwhile, Speaker Elemide has urged residents of Agboro Village, Obafe, in Obafe Miwodi local government area of the state, represented by Odedola, Olorede, Olatunde, Shagalu, and Akero families who presented a petition on alleged land grabbing to the assembly to remain calm as their request will be promptly attended to. The speaker who noted that the Prince Dakwa Biodun led administration has zero tolerance for land grabbing cases recalled that the State House of Assembly had previously passed a law on anti land grabbing and anti courtism meant to address all issues relating to land grabbing and courtism in all parts of the state.
These are members of Academic Staff Union of Secondary School Teachers, ASUS, led by its chairman, Comrade Felix Agbesnawa, who paid a courtesy call on the Speaker of the Ugo State House of Assembly, Right Honorable Uludai Sielemide, and were received alongside other members of the House. Comrade Agbesnawa commended the Assembly for giving priority through legislative process to the appointment of Principals General in the state requesting for a status of permanent secretary for them. The chairman, while lauding state government for the provision of infrastructure in schools across the state, requests more infrastructure and payment of rural allowance to teachers posted to the rural areas. Honorable speakers, I would want to appreciate you as the member of the assembly for giving us a voice to be heard as, as a union for considering the Office of the General Office to be gazetted. We say thank you to you, sir, and to all those that God have used to hear the bill, either first reading or to go for second reading or the last reading. We say thank you, sir, because we know that you have the interest of teachers in you. And please, you permit me to speak on that bill, sir, on the General Gazetting Officer, General Gazetting Officer. Officer. Sir, it will, disturb, it, will, it will surprise you and very disheartening that in the stage, any time a Principal General they retire, the office is being led to vacuum for months until all of them go. Like the one we have now, all of them have left now. But there, there are no replacement. Though we pay our voice to the heart, and the government promised all the workers day that very soon the Prime General shall be appointed in the state, which we, we hold on, on to his work because we know it's a very action. And once he says it, he will do it. So we give it to the government for the for promise not that one. But nevertheless, sir, any that office for it not to be left welcome the day, it's not to be deserted. When it's deserted, we know that once the principal general retire, automatically another one that is most senior should come up and occupy the seat. That's the essence of fighting for the office to be deserted, not for any other reason. And number two, we want to want the house members to make it to that office. Why did they say that they can have equal right with the permanent secretaries in the local states? Because according to the evidence that established by General Sir, during the time of Governor Brigadier Daniel, while he was here, the first evidence that established by General Office was that there is a cross in the letter that was given to them. They said the Office of General is equal to the Office of Permanent Secretaries in the local states. But it's a, it, was, it was a surprise when the last transition came up, they cut it off. They now treated them as a second fiddle. And we want to tell you, sir, in our teaching profession, our principals are respected. They are the ones that we see as a semi goal. The first one can get to level 17. That person must have paid this for our Jews. Because Professor General is a, 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 a man or woman that have reached the pinnacle of the career, grade level 17 for Professor General. Extra, extra general, grade level 14 or 15. Before they can get there, that means they must have paid their Jews. So it's not be good for somebody to be ridiculing them or be relegating them as not to do. In the service, the little time they will spend there as a provider of provider in their offices, they should be well treated, and they should be our eyes. They should be given that status of permanent secretaries, not that they will just say, as a, we have appointed as provider general, so go and sit down. No, let them occupy the office of provider general, equating with them with the permanent secretaries, and when they get there, they should be able to give them the official task. And on this note, I want to appreciate the government that have been. Last year, he surprised teachers for the first time out of in this in this of the state for the past 10 or 15 years. When we had what teacher day, I made I said a prayer in front of him that day that he should please grant the Fadera the official cards for those that are retired. And my speaker, sir, I want to tell you on that day, automatically he granted that prayer and he did the first Fadera official card. Some of them were still dreaming. They dread as if they are dreaming. Because some of them came with maybe a public transport, or some of them, they are, they are, their teacher brought them. But that day, when they when they got there that they are going to have a new car, till they start, some of them, all of them are still praying for me. That I'm going to say, thank you. And I told them, it's not, it's not your thank you, it's, it's, you, it's your union. We have to speak for you. So we want to say that any time the president is being appointed, we should give them the official cars. Called on the assembly to have a second look at the state pensions law with a view to extending the take-off date to address emerging issues 
surrounding its implementation for workers retiring in the months ahead to have their monthly pensions. Speaker Elemide, while responding to them, assured that the Assembly will have a holistic look at the state pensions law to address the grey areas in conjunction with all stakeholders. So when principal general was, uh, was established, there is no law. So you cannot call it executive order. You, you can call it a political statement. So that it is not continuous or gazetted, it is because there is no law that acts. it. And that is why we are looking at having the law when it becomes a law of the state signed by the governor, forget about gazetting. Already, in, in, in theory, it has been gazetted. So the passage of the law and the assent is what you should be praying for. The previous ones that were appointed, I wrote it here, don't they have equal rights as peers? No, or the peers? No, no, they don't have them. Okay. We will take care of that. Thank you, sir. Earlier in their contributions, the Deputy Speaker Bolanle Latifat Ajayi and the Minority Leader Lukman Adeleye, as well as other members, lauded the process of recruiting the Ugu teach teachers in the state, describing them as highly dedicated and certified teachers. They acknowledged the efforts of Governor Dakwabiodun led administration in the rehabilitation of schools in all parts of the state. In the course of the week, Chairman House Committee on Lands and Housing, Honorable Damilola Shunehe, and his counterpart on Justice, Ethics and Public Petitions, Honorable Shemu Adesoya, in company of other lawmakers while attending to petitions before the committees on the alleged case of forcible occupation and land grabbing of some communities within 12 community development associations, CDA in Obadaoko, a Wekuru local government area, against one Alaji Mutairu Oweye and three others, invited them to appear before the lawmakers on Thursday, 11th July 2024, by 12 noon. We are inviting Alaji Chief Mutairu Oweye, Alaji Garba Oweye, Afa Shina Oladu Duri, Afa Tawhi Bayo who claims to be the secretary, Lashabi family, to appear before this honorable house on Thursday, 11th July 2024 by 12 noon. Failure to appear on Thursday, we will not hesitate to declare these four persons wanted and to allow the police to bring them to court. Earlier, the Speaker of the House, Right Honorable Uluda Iselemide, joined the plenary just immediately after attending to a group of protesters from Obadaku in Iwekuru, led by Bale Shorubi, Obadaoku, Chief Edward Lanusi, Alaja Jemilat Ogudari, and former Majority Leader of the House, Sovio Bodiadiaga, who explained that residents of the affected communities has been experiencing cases of attacks and threats from one Mutairo Weye and his group on their landed property. We experience a lot of things in Obadaoku recently, and we need to just uh, bring ourselves together to know what is happening. Let me just Cut it short. What is happening in Nogada Oko now is something that we cannot we cannot stop anymore. There are a lot of people, strange faces, coming into the town, claiming what does not belong to them. But we don't really understand and we need to call ourselves together, the ballers, the chiefs and everybody. So we now look at it. Okay, let's go to the assembly. Let us go and lodge our complaint so that the government we know what is what is happening over there now. Our, our ladies, our girls, they cannot come out anymore. They are terrorizing us, intimidation everywhere. We are the owner of this, we are the owner of that. So we don't really believe and we don't really understand what is what is going on. That's why we are here, sir. Judgment to one baker using judgment. Okay, you have judgment in a cut up. Judgment, that is it. It will not happen. Documents, one be. Our church, I'm a soldier, head of the soldier in Nigeria for past many years. 
mo lo ba won ile ti awon eyan ti ra won lo won ha bu jump sori eni ti won ba ti ri any space won ni awon da won ni ba wo le se ni akode bi kan won ti e wa so pa won won ni ki lo rupo gbe ni owo eye won lo pe owo eye lo ni won ni ba wo lo ba o ni owo eye se ni bi o da plan nu yin da won fun mi ni plan won emi na fun mo ni temi ti wa Judgment da mo fe fun mi mo ni gba mo ti fun yin plan mo fun mi judgment i send the judgment to my lawyer o start there o ni judgment awon meta ni won su ni area ile awon ni ope ni pa e wa gba judgment lori awon meta se ra awon meta yen na ninu ara awon ni won su ara awon mo ti wa di debe won o wa sa bu ara inu ara won won su ara won ngba won yen wa yoju won wa gba judgment tori awon ta nso won pe yi to n pe awon ni omo ni ile ajagun gbale awon no 12014 during the job ba ba wa bi kun ya mosun ti lagos abe o pe space to be shut down ni gba yen to fi ba wa da si ta fi wa si bi to de so pe ko ma wo ilu wa mo ko ma wa gbegbe wa mo a fi ba se tun wa ri won again 2021 ton tun wa a de tun mu wo pe awa la be ijoba ogun state government abi o fin lawa a godo gbegbese to ma koja aye wa la fi wa se kin atu ko letter si bi ngba en baba wa olu omo won si wa ni speaker ta ko letter won de se kin won o si wa nbi fun meeting won de tun yin awon eh ibimo committee ton fi wa si ilu oba de opo lati wa pe nbi ten pe ni le yin beja ngba ton le de be won wi pe iro to jina si o to gba ni awon arakun yen pa won de so fun won pe awon gbodo rin ke tun step bi lati ma wa la awon ara ilu mo o ta won ba tun rin ke tun wa wa la awon ara ilu a je pe ijoba le fe ba se ejo lati gba yen na won tun lo lati bi osun meta bayi ni si mo je tun wole de niyan pelu okada pelu awon boys pelu bon pelu ake ton tun be si npare je ara won in so many villages lo ba da o ko nbe ta wa won pe ah gbogbo nkan ti a tun lo fun aso ba sem bi ni 2021 won lo pipi tun de yi kan gba wa yen ni letter wa se de bi pe ke gba wa lowo awon ton pe ran lajagun gba le yi lati je pe okunrin ni obirin ni omo di agba ni o inu aya full everybody wa ni lu oba da oko bayi la se wa ra web esin pe lati je ki awon pipi fi agbegbe wa le ki lu wa le linsin mi oluda is a lemedy explain that it has become imperative for the state government to rise up to the task of checkmating the activities of land grabbers across the state. The latest news in town, that is land grabbing, it's everywhere. Virtually all honorable members have one issue or the other in their constituency about land grabbing. And this house is calling on all our law enforcement agents. If there is no connivance, then they should be able to put this thing under arrest. We are putting it to all our security apparatus in Ogun State. That if there is no connivance, they should not find it difficult to checkmate all these people. 